Hi everyone, I'm the Art Toy Advocate, Nick Curtis, and I vividly recall the single piece that made me infatuated with the artwork of Sam Wells. Titled Squirm, it was a sculpture he'd created under his frequent uncle guise for the 1AM gallery exhibition Most Wanted Behind the Hype in 2012. Using an 8-inch dunny head as the core of the form, this piece embodies everything I associate with Wells' art. A transformation of vinyl works into something surprising and otherworldly. Wells' artistry within the designer toy movement began in 2008 when he hand-painted a mini-money at the suggestion of a friend. As his skill steadily developed, he found a knack for infusing a grotesque humor in his works while simultaneously pushing the boundaries of pre-made forms with unique profiles. Then, abruptly, in 2014, Wells put his art career on hold, opting to pursue schooling and dental hygiene instead. While he excelled in his classes, his artistic soul was being pent up. That is, until he accepted a commission and re-entered his studio in late 2015, the floodgates of creativity thrown open once more. That commissioned work resulted in Wells's World Eater piece, painting the coarse-produced Lox figure with a free-flowing nebula theme. He finished it by sculpting a crater-pocked lunar surface cresting the head. Inspired by this direction, Wells noticed a couple of omen blink vinyl figures sitting on his desk, already primed and ready to be painted. Immediately envisioning their round faces and wide eyes as potential moons, he began work on the duo. Titled Moon Face and Moon Eyes, this set was completed nearly one year ago, beginning a new artistic period in Wells' output. One which he continued to explore, like with the piece in front of me, a variation on the Moon Eyes theme titled Ball. While the specially sculpted moon-like surfaces on the eyes is certainly a standout feature of this work, with each cratering divot feeling carefully placed and executed, it is far from the only noteworthy aspect. The pitch black celestial sky coating the body is speckled with white stars, the occasional one flaring and drawing attention to it. Of similar striking contrast are the beak and feet painted in metallic silver and conveying a sci-fi feel that emphasizes the space theme as a whole. But the most impressive element is the subtle depiction of cosmic clouds, their greenish-blue ethereal forms interspersed around the whole. Since beginning this direction, Wells has modified various sizes and styles of Corse's omen into the moon face or moon eyes likeness, each ultimately unique through the sculpting details as well as the coloration and patterning of the nebula designs. Those interested in commissioning a one-of-a-kind original of their own should contact the artist through his website, unclestudio.com. Thank you for watching me, Nick Curtis, the Art Toy Advocate. Agree with me or disagree with me? Let me know your thoughts on Uncle's Moon Eyes pieces by commenting below as well as liking or disliking this video on YouTube. And please remember to subscribe to the CoArt YouTube channel to be kept up to date on my reviews.